Okay, today I'm going to work on something a little different. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell at this angle, but this bed, get around here and see if I can get a better look at it, holds water really bad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go wash it out and uh, get it washed out. And then I'm going to come back, drill a couple of drain holes in the front corner, and then I've got a... Uh, some bed liner uh, that I've had for a while. I'm going to clean the bed up and go ahead and throw a bed liner in the bottom of it uh, so if I can stop some of the rust, get it to looking a little better. So I'll bring you back when I get to the car wash. Okay, here we are at the car wash and you can see it's still a little bit of puddles just from the drive up here. My plan is to go ahead, I've got some cheap concentrated degreaser that I'm going to pour in the bed and I'm going to take the uh, car wash brush and brush the floors and the side and all that get it done and then I'll fire up the uh, washer and hose it all down so let me get you set up here and throw you on time lapse Okay, as you can tell, doing a little scrubbing here. And you can see how nice the water looks. I had a, a motor I brought home when I got the truck and it leaked oil in the bed. So trying to get all that oil out to make it where the, uh, the uh, bed liner, when I put it, roll it on the floor, it'll stick better. Okay, back from the car wash. As you can see, the bed's drier. It's a lot cleaner than it was. Uh, get up in here, I still gotta pull the drill out. There we are, a couple of holes, but you can see the rest has been flaking away here. Get to looking in the corners and you can really see it up the side. So what I'm gonna be doing is coming in with a wire wire brush on a four and a half inch grinder and running through this area with it I got a face shield wire let me get, jump back down here and grab my drop cord and get it up where I need it Okay, I got the drop cord handy. Let me get the camera, which it didn't rotate like it was supposed to. Let's try it again here. Okay, I don't know if you can tell on the uh, where I was doing the time warper, it's called on there, or the slow-mo. Uh, this is really throwing stuff up. You can see a difference where I've already run it. You can see how much stuff it's slinging, so you definitely want to be wearing a face mask, a face shield or a face mask, or, well, face shield and face, uh, face mask, both. Uh, this is going to take a while, so I'm going to cut you off, and I'll bring you back when I get done. Okay, I thought I'd just uh, bring you back for a minute, let you kind of get a look at what I've got done so far. You can... See where it's at. And there's still junk piled up around the edge that I hadn't got out good. But I've already got that pile right there out of that little area you just was looking at. And if you look at my arms, you can see 
Well, maybe not too good. But you can look at my hands. And so the kind of stuff that's been being thrown up on there. Had gloves on while I'm handling the camera. I'll probably have to go get me a second wire wheel to finish this set. So uh, let me get back at it. Okay, you can see how far I made it. I don't know if you can tell how wore out that brush is, but it's pretty wore out. I've been stopping the vacuum and vacuuming the floor out a little bit as I go. Someone had to go get another uh, wire wheel. And we'll go ahead and take and use a 7 16 drill bit here. And put some drain holes in these corners. Let me move the camera. Oh. So that's a better angle. Well, actually, let me. Okay, I took that hole up to a half inch. Now I just got to the one on the other side. Well, I went and picked up the brush, uh, brush last night, or actually picked up a couple. I'm almost through the second one. As you can see, I haven't sanded it, but uh, not sanded it, vacuumed it yet. But got it cleaned up. I started down the side rails over the wheel wheels, and just did a little bit of this one. But what I'm trying to do on the sides which I may have to hit this one again, is come back and knock off the rust and any loose paint. That way the uh, bed undercoating will seat better. Once I get done with the cut brush, I'll be using a straight brush because it's hard to get into these corners all the way around uh, with the cut. And I want to go down this edge here with the straight because a lot of the... Uh, caulking they put in there to seal this to keep the moisture out from between it it is uh, coming out and I want to clean that out and then I'll recalk it after I uh, redo the bed liner okay I'll bring you back when I get ready to do the next part okay back from the uh, car wash I used uh, cheap bed greaser again and down soak this time you can kind of Get a little idea of what the bed looks like right there. and it's still wet but that gives you a little idea let me get you set up here and you can hear probably the air compressor going in the garage i'm just going to take some compressed air and start blowing it Fast air, start blowing in these. Uh, yeah. Oh, getting under here can be fun. Kind of get that in what I'm doing, just trying to blow the water in the dirt out the back of the truck. So I'll run you back when I get ready to start uh, taping it up or well, wiping it down before I uh, am ready to start rolling the liner. Well, I blew it out with the air hose, went inside to let it finish drying, and it decided to rain a little bit. Now I'm gonna take some paint thinner. 
and some chop towels and I'm going to just start wiping it down uh, get more stuff off the better you clean the better it's going to tear to the surface okay I got you set up here kind of aimed up towards the front where it's dry right now you can see just going to pour some turpentine out on this shop towel yeah And that's just that one wipe. I mean, nothing real bad, but it's still better to get it cleaned off to uh, get the paint to stick better. I'll go around and I'll end up doing it all like this. Okay, here's what I'm going to be using for the roll on bed liner. It's the Double Color Bed Armor. I got Kevlar. I bought this. two, three years ago, maybe four to do another vehicle. Uh, never did it. Got rid of the vehicle. When I bought this, it was $106, you might as well say. Uh, the floor still hasn't completely dried from the little rain shower, but I'm going to start in the corners, and which other than right there, that wheel well, we're pretty well dry. Going to start in the corners with the brush and applying it, and then come back down the sides with the roller and over the uh, the wheel arches. So let me get it out here, get it set up, and we'll go from there. Okay, got it out. Here's what you get: a gallon of the track bed line. Instructions: double color sticker to go on your window, paint stir stick, the roller. A scuff pad and a two inch brush and a pan to put it in. And as I was doing earlier, it says to uh, in the instructions go in, clean the bed of the truck out with the wax and grease remover, then come back, <coughs> after you sweep it, clean it all out, come back and scuff it, then go ahead and go back and wash it again, rinse it out again what I did and then come back with a degreaser and wax remover which is what I did with the paint stripper or paint. so without even reading the instructions it's pretty well the same steps you do when you're painting a panel other than we're not putting a primer down um, it also says to make sure that you with the scuff and it helps on the shiny surfaces and all that to get the paint to stick or the undercut to stick better, which wire wheel I've already scuffed it up, so we'll get started uh, getting this open and get started putting it in the corners and down the sides. Well, I got home today, found a package from LMC truck that I'd ordered, which is a decent size uh, box. You can see where they put it in a bag, trying to keep the rain, it's been running here the last day or two. Uh, matter of fact, if you look at uh, the bed of the truck in here, it's not showing up real good, but it's wet. You can see where it started resting a little bit, where I haven't been able to finish the uh, bag, bag coating yet. But the drain holes did make a difference. It doesn't have a lake in the back of it now. Well, let's get this box open and see what I ordered from LMC truck. First thing we pull out is a door scan. That's 
scale up here. Oh yeah, that ought to do a nice job of fixing that dent right there. And I've already, I've had the cab corner for a while. Well, I know that's not all I got. In this bag. Pinch pans and bushings. I know the other day when I was talking to uh, Jeff Ford from out of rest and mod. If you look at the gap on my door, and then it gets tied up here in the corner. Well, if you grab the door, you can see how much play is in that upper pan. So I'm going to go ahead and replace all four of them at the same time. But that shouldn't be it. I should have one more thing in here. Oh, on the back side of this cardboard. New cab lights. They definitely are looking nicer than the old ones. As you can see, get up here. My old ones are faded. Uh, if I remember right, one of them looks cracked. So that's going to be another little project I'll work on here real soon. I got these because they match real close to the factory one. So it's on here. Same color, same gray, base. Um, which I'll probably just add putting these on at the end of this video. Well, I didn't get it finished like I wanted to. Uh, I don't know if you can see here on the camera. It's been raining for the last uh, day and a half, two days right at it. I wasn't able to get the uh, floor of the bed undercoated like I wanted. Now I've got all this little surface rust coming up. So what I'm going to do is take this Osfo, Osfo, ever how you say it, and I'm going to go across, paint the bed, and let it set up for 24 hours. I'll paint up the sides and all, and uh, it's supposed to convert this rust back to metal and stop the rust. And then after that, I can come back in and do the, uh, the bed coating. Okay, I just poured some of it out, of it out into this uh, Folgers coffee can. Take the brush, and you just brush it on. It don't smell the best in the world, but hey, as long as it does the trick, that's all we're worried about. Now there's not a lot of rust on this uh, upper part. It's more down here in the corner and the floor of the trusted, but it's still just a good precaution to go ahead and cover it all. And I'm sure you just don't want to watch me do this whole bed, so I'll bring you back when I get it all done. Okay, that probably took about eh, 15 minutes to do, but the whole diamond plate in the bed is coated up the sides and all. Make sure I hit the corners real good. Uh, the instructions say to let it set for 24 hours. So, hopefully sometime tomorrow, I can start putting the bed liner in. Okay, after... Well, I started this on a week ago tomorrow, which would have been on a Saturday. It's rained, and I've had to work a couple of days. But today's finally... I'm going to get back to uh, finish putting the double coat rolling bed liner in the truck. As you can see, I just uh, dried it out, got the water out. So now I've got to mix up the bed liner and we'll get in here and get started putting it in the corners. Okay, I started with the uh, bed liner. I started with the duple color one with Kevlar and it just wasn't working good. So I ended up going 
and just get in there truck bed coat instead that's what you see around the sides and across the steps right now uh, one coat let it i let it dry to uh let it set for two hours to dry now i'm going to start rolling it but i'm going to go back over the sides again with the second coat and then i roll the floors i come back out and then i let it dry two hours and put a second coat on the floor and touch up anything on the sides that needs to be done Okay, second coat's done around the sides and in the corners. First coat's done on the floor. I'll be coming back to do probably a third coat on the sides because I can still see some bleed through. And one to two more on the floor. We'll see after I do this next one. Now I've got to wait two hours for this to cure off to where I can, uh, before I can start the second coat. Finally, after six days, I've got this little job done. I started uh, on a Saturday afternoon. Wire wheeled it out Saturday. Then I did it again Sunday, finished it. By the time I finished it, got it washed the second time Sunday after doing it, it started raining on me. Well, I worked Monday. It rained Tuesday. It rained. Wednesday, I worked Thursday, today's Friday, so today's the first day it hadn't rained that I've actually been off that I could finish it. So far I'm happy with how it looks. Uh, second coat's on, it's going to take about another two hours to dry. And I will probably put one more coat on the floor after that, I've got two on there now. Uh, I will say if you do this, you don't want to do this bed liner painted on over a dark color paint that's already there. If this bed hadn't have been well combination of rust and this Mojave tan that the truck is, I would have had a hard time getting complete coverage. But by it being the lighter colors, you could see where you'd missed when you went back over the second time. Uh, if I go over the third time, it'll be because I've missed spots. But it looks so much better than it did. The drain holes in the front, now it's not going to hold water. Uh, if it had drain holes in the front to start off with, this bed would probably be in a lot better shape than it is. But would I do it all over again? Maybe. Would I pay somebody else to do it? Probably. But hey, I made a YouTube video out of it, and I saved myself some money. So we'll see how it holds up. It's been drying over 12 hours now. As you can see, I pulled the tape off. I got one spot down on the side, kind of hard to tell, that I, over the wheel arch, that I ended up with some uh, bad liner up high. Overall it looks real good. Uh, there's a few spots on this diamond plate when you get up more towards the front that you can see spots of the floor under it still. So I'm going to put one more coat on. Uh, the, I'm going to put three coats on the floor. Other than that, I'm gonna pretty well done with uh, putting the bed liner in. We'll give it a while and I'll see how it holds up. Thank you for watching CC's Garage and come back again.